What's up, what's up, world? Your boy is back with another one. Yes, 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 yes. yes. You know the vibes. You know what to do. Hit the goddamn like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Barrel Chef Drippy. Best channel on YouTube, you know. Bringing you that good old, good old, good old, good old, good old facts and no cap. You feel me? What we're going to talk about today um, is real simple. Real simple. Don't forget to hit the goddamn like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we about to go up, baby. Um, the concept of what we're going to talk about today is um, the triple, triple P's. Now, this video is basically um, for anybody that is a father, anybody that is a parent. If you're a parent, you know, this will help you because I'm only here to help you. You feel me? The other people on this platform, YouTube, TikTok, all this other stuff, they want to teach you how to, how, they're not bettering you, you feel me? I want to better you, you feel me? No homo, if you're a man. Um, concept, um, you got to provide, you got to, these are the three P's as um, a father, because I can only pertain to fathers because I am a father and I am a man. I can't pertain to anything else because I don't, I can't relate to it much, you feel me? A man knows how to be a man. So um, as a man, if you have a child, an offspring, you're gonna have to, um, you're, gonna have to ha you're gonna have to provide these three Ps for this, this child to grow up and be a successful human being. Now stay with me, stay with me. Before I get into it, hit the goddamn subscribe button. I'm not gonna stop telling you for the, for the big girls in the back. For the big girls in the back that didn't hear, hit the subscribe button, y'all. Yeah. Now, um, First one is three, three of them. You're gonna have to provide. No, 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 no. Let me take that back. Let me take that back. Forget the provide because the provide is gonna come at come. It's gonna um come at the end. You're gonna have to protect. You're gonna have to provide provision, and as a high valued man in America, if you don't get along with the mother of your child, even if even if you do. They change, women change like the weather. You're gonna have to pay child support. So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, the triple P's is you're gonna have to provide for, the, you're gonna have to protect the child as a man from all the enemies and the harm and the danger of the world. You're gonna have to, um, pro, you're gonna have to pr provide provision for that child to let her, let him or her know where to go in life, how to think in life, you know? Provide supervision, ETC, get the drift. And as a high-valued man, if you do not get along with the mother of your child, you're going to have to pay child support, which is inevitable because you should be supporting your child regardless. But in this system of society, um, they, 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 they target, I wouldn't say, yeah, they target the successful man. They target the successful man with child support as if he is not already going to pay child support for having his child. Now, there are deadbeats out there. Um, this, is, this, is, this is not pertaining to deadbeats. If you're a child support works for deadbeats. But if you are a great father like <laughs> I am and others out there, child support is like paying child support when you already support your child inevitably is 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 a slap in the face is a slap in the face bow, bow. Bow, bow. is a slap in the face but um you know we don't complain you know we only um we only um figure out solutions and stay positive you feel me now the first one the first p um to protect um as a father you're gonna have to protect for this child meaning that when you take her out you're gonna make sure you i have a daughter so this is why i'm saying this when you take her out you make sure you hold her hand um when you talk to your daughter you let her you let her you don't put her in predicaments where little girls are not supposed to be because your job is to protect her protect her men mentally and protect her physically protect her mentally protect her physically if it's a boy protect him mentally and protect him physically that's where you get the protection comes in because men are naturally 
protectors. You feel me? If the country is going to war, they do not send a woman to protect the country. Now, if they do, that's okay. I'm not sexist. There's a couple women in the army. But the majority of men that has fought wars for the last hundred years that I know about, they, um, they protect the colony. You feel me? Think about the ants. Most ants that you see in, when you see, they're men ants. They're, they're, they're male ants protecting the queen bee, the queen ant. Or right, think about bees, they protect the queen bee. The queen does not protect the castle. The king sends soldiers to protect the castle. And nine times out of ten, they, the exception to the rule, it can be a woman in this day in society. But based on history, coming up till now, um, the men are the greatest protectors. That's why um, that she always wants a man in the house to protect the house. I don't hear any woman um, protecting houses. I don't want to hear a man ever say, you know, I want a girl because I want her to come and protect the house so I can go wash the dishes. That's not how it works. You're going to have to protect the child. That's the first P. That is the first P. Now, the second P is provision. You're going to have to provide provision for that child, a.k.a. you're going to have to be the captain of that child's life. Now, the child, nine times out of ten, will be with the mother most of the time if you are an alpha male. If it's a beta male situation, nine times out of ten, that man is going to be a little bit more emotional, is going to be a little bit more attached to the child, so he's going to want to be around more. But nurturing children is a woman's job. One more time for the big girl in the back because she always be lacking or she always be like it's the same guys i have nothing against big girls they're beautiful they're beautiful um you're gonna have to provide provision for this child now the reason i say this is um logical thinking gets way further than emotional thinking the mother is going to think very emotional the, the father is going to think very logical. Therefore, the person on the ship, which is the captain, should always be more logical than emotional. So going through this, this child's life, they're going to have to know morals. They're going to have to know uh, what honor means. They're going to have to know what respect um, does for them and to them. Now, how are you going to teach this? This is, this is why the provision comes along. The vision, a.k.a. The key word in this, um, the key, um, the key phrase within the word is vision, provision, guiding the child through life, making sure they have a trust, making sure they know how credit works so they can never get um, hit with that good old double interest. You feel me? The rates, let them know life, how society thinks, what, what is expected of you within society, you know? other than the Ten Commandments, because I don't, f you feel me? Basically teaching them and getting them ready to move ahead in life. That is the provision, which I think, I think this is only my opinion because I'm, I'm, I'm the owner of my life. I think it's better done by a male figure. And this is my child or your child. So you're gonna have to provide the provision after you already started to protect the child. And the last one, last but not least, is basically in this society, if you do not get along with the mother of your child, or even if you do get along with the mother of your child, and then say for instance, you are married to this woman, um, and you got married, and then say for instance, a couple years later, you guys are not on the same page, you guys get divorced, she hits you with the alimony, and on top of that, you have to pay child support because she now no longer lives with you. She lives with the kids, she got the house and the car and everything, and you got the um the single, the, the one two bedroom apart, the one bedroom apartment because you're paying for her house that you guys used to own together. Well, you used to own yourself, but now <laughs> it's hers. You're gonna still have to pay child support if you don't get along with her even before and, and you don't get married to her and she does not think you are the greatest man that that you were when she got with you in the first place and she decides you know what we're gonna go our separate ways but we're gonna co-parent this child you better be ready as a young man i'm here to only help 
young men and young, yeah, basically I'm here to influence and help young men to be better, stronger individuals. That's what this channel is about and I hit you with a lot of life hacks and and entertainment also, but it's, it's, it's basically about how to gain more respect as a man, how to um, up your value as a man, how to in, increase your stock value as a man. But back to the, the child support part, financially, you're going to have to take care of this child for at least 18 years, at least 18 years. As a father, you should take care of them regardless for a hundred years, but financially they should be independent a little bit after 18 to 21. But until then, if you do not get along one more time with the woman that you decide to um, make a seed with, to give, to give a seed to, to bring into this world, because we are the suppliers, they are the utilities, AKA man versus woman, um, you you have to be ready to pay child support. Now this catches a lot of people off guard. A lot of men get caught off guard thinking that when we have a child, everything is gonna be peachy cream and we're gonna have the white picket fence and move to the suburbs and we're gonna be dumping on the trampoline in the back all day long, baby. Mm, well, that's not how every book is written for every individual. That's not how every chapter turns for every individual. Some people, they do not um, end up at the same destination in life. They part ways. And when that happens, one party feels like they might be supporting the child a little bit more than you. So therefore, they're going to feel um, taken advantage of. So they're going to try to try to hit you with a curveball. I'm not a baseball fan, the biggest one, but I know what a goddamn curveball is. Usually people are looking for fastballs, you know? We get it over with, everything is done. Um, no hard feelings, you know, no animosity, no. She is going to hit you with a curveball. If you do not marry her, give her the white picket fence life or what she is desiring and she, she will leave, she will leave. Usually people leave when they don't get what they want. She doesn't get what she wants, she will leave. But regardless of if you have a child, we'll, people always talk about, oh my God, men don't see their children, men don't see their children. Um, Come on now, nine times out of 10, the mother is in control of the, the schedule of the child. So anybody who's not seeing anybody on each party, nine times out of 10, it might be the mother's the mother causing this this incident the mother is responsible 24 hours if you do not live with the child she controls the schedule so the the narrative is men don't see their children no the narrative should be women don't bring their child to see their father being that they are super they have all this suit they were giving supervisional rights from the court now that you are on child support or how um, if you have a custody battle i don't know how it works for you i don't know how i can only speak on myself i'm not in a custody battle i'm just paying child support but she has full custody of the child so if one entity is not seeing the child it's, it's one party that is causing that cause and effect the effect is you're not seeing your child the cause is the mother is not trying to help you to fucking see the child. Pardon my French, but I'm not French. But don't be scared about child support. You need to prepare yourself for child support. If you are a man thinking about having a child in this world and bringing a seed into this world, you better be prepared to pay child support because if it catches you off guard, hmm, whew, you might go bankrupt. If you get caught off guard, not ready for child support, you get hit with ear rears, she might put you into bankruptcy. You can't, they can't, they, they can't hit you if they can't see you. Or better yet, that's a bad analogy, scrape that one. All right, all right, all right, no, that wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't the greatest analogy, the metaphor to use right there. Um, you, you, you can't get surprised if you were already prepared for what was going to happen. Bars. You can't be surprised if you're already prepared for what's about to happen. And what's about to happen is she's going to put your ass on child support if you guys nine times out of ten do not get along after the child is born. 
or sometimes even before. Or if she does not get what she wants, she will leave you. And when she leaves, you're going to have to pay for it. When a woman leaves your life, you are going to have to pay for it. And if you have a child, you're going to have to pay for it a little bit more. Now, you should pay, you should support your child without being put on child support. But as a man in America right now, I think that you should just automatically, as soon as she gets pregnant, as soon as she gets pregnant, she says, oh, baby, I think, um, I think, um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit, um, out of my body, you know, I have new feelings coming on. I need to talk to you because... Um, I'm throwing up a lot in the bathroom and um, I'm, I, I'm, I don't know how to explain that big ass word that that, that, that it's like a it's, it's like a point during during getting pregnant that they feel it. and they after they pass it they miss they oh I missed my period yeah I missed my period so you know I'm thinking about having this child when that happens put yourself on child support put yourself on child support at that point. So if anything goes wrong or any love is lost, guess what? You already already paying child support to a private bank account. It's like a backup. I wasn't thinking like this, so I'm helping. I'm trying to help you to think like this, so you can be a better person. Because that's what this channel is about. You feel me, young man? No homo. Now, if you have a bank account that says child support, you put put five hundred dollars in it every week. If you know her for seven years, after seven years, you know, that, that might be ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 already in that bank account or more possibly if you double it. Now, if she calls you and says, hey, you know, we're not going to be together no more. You guys break up and you already are prepared for child support. You're like, hey, well, child support, you know, it's a funny thing that you bring that up because I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to still um, take care of my responsibilities. I hope you have a wonderful life with whoever you choose. But let's believe that check will be coming to you. You feel me? Now, that's going to hit her by surprise. Remember when I told you if you're prepared for what will happen, you cannot be surprised? Three, two, one. If you're prepared for that child support before she puts you on it, when she puts you on it, she can't serve you with a letter. She can serve you however she wants with a letter at your job or whatever, you, whatever that is, but you won't be surprised. You'll have like a, <laughs> I was laughing. I was ready for this. I knew who you were. I knew you would do this. I knew you would do this. Bong, bong, bong. That's going to piss her off. Because remember, she's going to try to po um, poke sh um, shanks in your, in your armor. She's trying to find a shank in your armor so she can, she can stab you. Feel me? She can emotionally stab you. You feel me? Don't, don't give her the chance. Do not give her the chance. Put your cell phone to child support. You feel me? You're already ready. You feel me? You already bought the house and the, the Bentley for, for her before she turns 18. You feel me? That's going to make her words very contradictive. You feel me? He ain't shit. He ain't even some... How you going to say that? She'll never have the chance to say that because you're, she, she has a bank account already ready for what she tried to... To, to declare you on or sue you on. But well, concept of the day, concept of the day, concept of the day. That's what I got for you today. Hit the goddamn like button if I'm hitting, hitting points and helping you add value to your life because that is what I'm here for. You feel me? One hand, wash the other. Both hand, wash the face. You feel me? I give you value. You hit the like button. You hit the subscribe and you tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody to tune into your boy. Now, um, those are the triple P's, man. Those are the triple P's. Those are the triple P's. You have to protect the child. You have to provide provision for the child. And if you're a smart individual, you should put yourself on child support before the child is born. Now, you should support the child regardless of being put on child support. But don't be immature. That is not where I'm trying to get right here. And this is not what the channel is about. If, you, if you're immature and you cannot think theoretically into the ideas that I'm giving you, this is not the channel for you. Go watch somebody else not help you to be a better person. Listen to the sentence. Go watch somebody else not help you to be a better person. But if you want to be helped to be a better person as a man and you don't want no beta in your blood, if you're trying to get the beta out your blood and out your system, 
hit the goddamn subscribe button. I got some more coming to you. I'm trying to do three videos a day. Three videos a day. I'm trying to do three videos a day. Um, call me on it if I don't. You feel me? I need y'all. I need y'all to drop a comment below if you don't see me drop three videos a day, so I can get back on my. Sh you feel me? It's not gonna happen, but I need you to hold me accountable. You feel me? You feel me? I'm gonna be your coach to get your life better. You feel me? But you gotta let coach know if he's calling the wrong place in time, or or if he's not holding practice every day. You feel me? We gotta hold practice every day. You feel me? Um. Hit the goddamn subscribe button and get these videos to you as soon as possible. We're trying to get to um, 10K of 10K so subscriptions, 10,000 subscriptions, 10,000 subscriptions, then 100,000 subscriptions, so forth and so on. Um, comment below. Let me know. And I'm going to get to the next video. I got some more fire for you. Make sure you go to my last three videos. The last three is real simple. Go to the last three videos. Hit the goddamn like button. Drop a comment below. Let me know how you feel about it. And we out of here. I'm going to get you to the next video as soon as possible. Remember, three uploads a day. Call me on it if you don't see it. Call me on it if you don't see it. Roll to 10K subscriptions. Stay blessed. No, I don't like using that word no more, but um, stay fresh. Stay fresh. Stay fresh. And I know simping, dog. Never. Number one law of the channel. I'm putting it out there. Don't steal the sauce. Never be a simp. No matter what. Never be a simp. One more time for just in the back that always be lacking. And I'm out of here. Never be a simp. By any means necessary. By any, by any, never be a simp. By any means necessary. Any means necessary. Hit the goddamn subscribe button. Hit the goddamn like button. Let me know how you feel about it. Remember, if you have a child in this, in this world, you're going to have to protect that child you're gonna have to provide provision for that child and you're gonna have to pay child support if you're a high value man and sh and, and and she get and she's trying to catch you off guard remember that remember that fam remember that i'm out of here never be a simple yeah 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 hit the goddamn subscribe button more coming to you soon as possible they like i'm away you been i've been getting to the bag seven rebels be the sauce you see the brand is on my tack